This is rare private footage from Yacht Geschwader 3 that was taken in France in 1940. The detail we see in this material is exquisite. Take a look at the polished wooden grips on the steering column. The map and the leather glove resting on the dashboard. And the yellow snake Vapen, or unit insignia, that can be clearly seen here. Today I'll give background information about Operation Paola, the Luftwaffe's 1,000 aircraft attack on Paris on June 3rd of 1940. I'll explain Colonel von Massau's responsibility as fighter commander for this operation. I'll introduce the squadrons under his command and the two types of fighters that were in these formations. In addition, I'll begin reading von Massau's first-hand experience report titled Shot Down Behind Enemy Lines. When you see von Massau's photo, then you'll know that you're listening to his first-hand commentary, otherwise it's background information. As you've seen, I combine historically important original printed material like this experience report with rare film footage. Unfortunately, the algorithms that search for things like swastikas or violence often automatically classify the most important and interesting sources as unsuitable and the videos aren't monetized. That's a problem. If you'd like to see uncensored footage, click on the link that is pinned in the first comment and create an account. For now, all you need to do is log in to see some additional private footage from the Yadgeshvara 3 collection. Around the end of the year, that'll be expanded into a full subscription-based video-on-demand platform. If you are serious about history, I promise that you won't be disappointed. This original artwork was actually owned by Van Massov and was recently sold at auction. It shows a squadron of German ME-109s flying in formation. The perspective is that of a pilot from a following position. The German Luftwaffe had naturally been ready for a general attack on all military sites and armed production centers in and around Paris for a while. As is usual, the operation had a code name, which was Paula. When the key word that triggered the operation was finally given, there was a tremendous feeling of release for everyone from the highest leadership positions to the youngest mechanic. The prepared orders were sent out. As Fighter Commander 3, with General Lorza as my superior, I had the honor of providing fighter and destroyer escort for three Air Corps. Operation Paola was made up of over a thousand aircraft, which would therefore be the largest and most powerful action in the history of the German Luftwaffe to date. Von Massov would be responsible for providing fighter protection for Air Corps numbers 1, 2, and 5, which together made up what was known as Luftflotte 3 and was under the command of Hugo Sperla. As Fighter Commander 3, Directly under his command were all three groups of Fighter Squadron 2, which was the Richthofen Squadron, named after the famous World War I ace. Here is the Wappen of JG2, the Richthofen Squadron. You can see it here clearly on this ME-109. Typically there were three groups in each squadron, and sometimes a fourth or even a fifth group was added to a single engine fighter squadron. Individual groups were often transferred between squadrons. Squadrons usually had between 90 and 120 aircraft. The three groups of Fighter Squadron 53 and single groups from Fighter Squadrons 76 and 52 were also under von Massov's command. The operational one-engine fighter at the time was the ME-109. This clip is from a 1940 identification training film. It shows the most prominent identifying characteristics. It has a runtime of 39 minutes and 6 seconds. In addition, von Massov had a group of two-engine heavy fighters 
or destroyers from ZG-2 at his disposal. At the time, the unit was outfitted with about 35 Messerschmitt BF-110s, which were unofficially known as ME-110s. It was intended that these aircraft would be replaced by the newer ME-210s. However, because of serious wing and fuselage design flaws, the switch was never made. This footage is from another training film from 1943, with a runtime of 13 minutes and 38 seconds. Ich habe mich selbstverständlich bei diesem Gesamteinsatz meiner Verbände ebenso wie meine General. Of course, I would be personally accompanying my squadrons, just as General Staff Officer Captain Beck in an ME-109. I'd be attached to the fighter group operating the farthest to the southwest of Paris in order to give me the most advantageous overview of the actions of our fighters and destroyers. I chose to stage the operation in the area of Reims, where Fighter Squadron 2, Richthofen, the unit that I had commanded myself for four years, was based. From there, all the different formations arrived, received their instructions, and departed. On June 3, 1940, the keyword was announced. Over a thousand aircraft took off from their many airfields at exactly the designated time and flew in waves towards the French capital to move into their carefully choreographed positions for the attack. The sight of the waves of aircraft from both the ground and in the air was unbelievable. In the next video in the series, I'll introduce the three air corps that were involved in Operation Paula and the allotment of aircraft that they had. Then I'll continue on with von Massov's experience report up through his crash behind enemy lines. If you like the way I combine primary source materials in these videos, please remember to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to create an account on military1945.com. Thanks for watching.